What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And today, we are back on Anthem, because I am going to be showing you how you can craft new items on this game. And not just crafting, you can scavenge for new items as well. So, let's get to it. So, as you can see, we're over here by a shiny javelin right now. So, if you ever completed a mission and it comes to the end where it... It shows you all the XP you earned, and then it gives you a bunch of weapons that you have found along your way. Now, you can choose to keep these, or you can choose to salvage them. It's either up to you, but I usually keep them. But once you keep them, where do they go? Can I dismantle these to get parts from them, or are the weapons completely lost? Well, they are not lost, and if you don't use them, you can turn them into parts for another weapon. Where do we go then? Where? Because there is no other place around here. you got the forge where you can customise your javelin. If you don't know how to customise your javelin, make sure you go and check out my other video. But, how can we scavenge all these parts? Well, if you look to the left, that little marketplace over here, this little stall over here, is where you need to go. So, come over to here. Talk to this guy here, right here, and it says open vault. Now this vault contains everything that you have. Everything you have picked up in game. So as you can see, heavy pistols, shotguns, assault rifle, marksman rifles, machine pistols, light machine guns, sniper rifles, auto cannons, grenade launchers. These are all the weapons that I have picked up in game, but I haven't done anything with them. It goes for components as well. So your basics, you got all these. All these special abilities that you can put on, pretty cool. Here you got gear, and all these frag grenades and missiles and everything. But then you've got crafting, and these are the items that I've currently got for my crafting. Now, you are going to need more than these to craft certain weapons, obviously. So if you go to your weapons now, heavy pistols. I don't particularly use heavy pistols. They're, I just don't use them. But if you go over to them, and if you look... Down in the bottom right hand corner, you can actually see a button where it says hold scavenge. So you just hold that and it'll scavenge it. And then it'll come up with the parts that you have on the right hand side of the screen. So I got two weapons parts from that. I'm going to do the same to this one. Look on the right hand side of the screen yet again once it disappears. I got two more weapon parts. Really cool. Now, if you scavenge the uncommon ones, you will get different stuff from them. Hmm. I'm going to do this one. So we're going to hold scavenge right now. Look at the right hand side of the screen. It should pop up. One uncommon emerald and two weapon parts. Now these uncommon emeralds or emeralds anyway, you will need. You need these to craft higher tier weapons. So green, blue, purple. That's what you need. Now you can go through all of your weapons and just get rid of all the weapons that you don't really want or you don't really need because they're not as good as a weapon you've already got. So there's absolutely no point in keeping them. So you can go through every single one. I've got some machine guns here, uh, I mean assault rifles that I particularly don't need because they're just lower than everything. So I'm going to... Oh, okay. I can't scavenge that one. Someone Sometimes you can't scavenge them. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to scavenge that one. Scavenge. I don't know why I say scavenge for. I don't know why. I know that's the completely wrong word. But, oh well. I don't know why I say scavenge parts. I don't know why that I say that. Um, so these are my marksman rifles. I've got a really good one already, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Most uncommon, uh, most common items will only give you weapon parts anyway. It's the other ones that you're going to need the parts from. Now, I don't use machine guns, I mean, uh, machine pistols. I don't do them, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Just so we get another emerald. Or oh, ember, sorry. Get more words mixed up today. I've only got one light machine gun and it's not very good, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I've got two sniper rifles, and these sniper rifles are actually pretty good. That one is a lot better than this one, so I'm going to get rid of this one and it'll give me another ember for it a green ember or uncommon ember, whatever you want to call it. 
And auto cannons and grenades I haven't got any of these decently. Or a couple of these. And they're both completely different, so I'm not going to use them. But if you got over to your components, basic components. Now I've got some of these that I will not use. These are just something like, ah, I don't need it. So I'm going to get rid of them. And it'll give me some parts for it. There we go. We got two different parts there. We got alloys and components, which is really, really cool. So from the weapons, you usually get weapon parts. And if it's like an uncommon or rare or something, you'll get the ember for it, which is really nice. But for these, you will also get different stuff. So I will never use the melee ones. So I'm going to get rid of them. And it'll give me some more parts that can go into something else. But now we got these. Hmm. These are actually really good, and I don't really want to get rid of them, but for the sake of the video, let's do it. Let's get rid of this one, and we should get a rare ember for it. No, we didn't. Okay. Thanks, game. <laughs> but anyway, you can go over to gear as well from your ranger, and you can do the well some of these. Some of these are just normal, and they come with the original javelin, and you can't get rid of them. But a lot of them that you pick up, you can. Frost grenade, you can get rid of it. I've actually got two frost grenades here. And there isn't a lot of difference. But I'm going to get rid of it to see what materials it gives me. Gets rid of it. There we go. we got two ranger parts. Really cool. We go back. you got storm parts as well. we got a couple of cool ones here. Look at that one. Really, really nice. But it goes for Colossus. These are all the different ones that you can get. So, really nice. Now, these are the items that I have got crafting wise but you cannot craft in this menu so what you're going to back out from the vault you're going to go over to the forge if you don't know where the forge is it's right next to your javelin right next to this woman that stands here come over to it, it actually says forge you press a it will load you into it so then you go over to your weapons select all the weapons that you have now I've got rid of a lot of them, so I don't have a lot of them. But if you notice up there where it says equip and craft, let's go over to craft. And now you can choose what kind of weapon you want to craft. It always gives you this little prompt. You can craft items by pressing A if you have a specific rarity for the blueprints unlocked. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm always after a really good assault rifle. So I'm going to go on assault rifle and now you have what you need. So, you got your rarity, which is common, uncommon, rare, and epic. At the moment, nothing goes above epic. Then maybe when the full game comes out, I'm not too sure yet. But I haven't got any epic ember, so I can't do it. I've only got three of the rare ones as well, which is kind of sad. I'd love to try and craft a really good one, but I've got an uncommon one. So, it tells you the parts that you need and the parts you have. So, there you have. I have 44, 45, 46, and 7. The only problem is it will not tell you how much damage this weapon will do. It just says it's a power 15. But we're going to craft it. I'm going to use some of the things I have just to show you more what's on screen. So you got a hold to craft. Now it's crafting. And boom, this is what we got. Defender, power 15, standard issue, well-balanced combat rifle. Uh, plus 20 spare ammo. Plus five health drop chance. Pretty cool. Not too bad. But you can do that for every weapon. So now if we go over. Was this it? I think this might have been it. Yeah, this is it. This is the one that I've just crafted. So it's actually worse than the one I have got now. Apart from the ammo, which has gone up. But everything else is bad. Uh, it's kind of sad. But it has got some different abilities. As you can see down there as well. It says plus 20% spare ammo. And plus uh, uh, health drops. Plus 5% health drops. Which isn't too bad. You do get different ones. I, think it, I do believe that it is random of what you get. But the higher tiers that you can craft the better your weapon will be. But you need to go and collect all these embers so you can use them. 
But there you have it, mortals. That, how, that is how simple it actually is to do. Go and destroy some of your weapons. You get materials out of them. Come to this menu and then you can craft new weapons. So anyways, I hope this helps you out. I hope you found it informative. And if you're wondering how to do it, this is how to do it. Anyway, mortals, hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps. You know what to do with that like button. If you did, see you in the either the next video or the next live stream.